hello everyone and welcome to my channel once again in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to crochet this uh, beanie i have already made this one and i'm going to make this one for the sake of the video and the only difference between these two is that i made a pom pom um, for this one and i did not make any pom pom for this one because the reason is because when i was done with making this beanie i had only this much yarn left and this is not enough at all to make a pom pom i could make one in white color but i honestly i don't like making pom pom i hate making pom poms but sometimes i just make them anyway for the sake of video or just to give a finishing look to my beanie but i was not uh, ready to do with this one and i thought that uh, i think it looks okay even without the pom pom and i will show you guys how it looks without the pom pom this is how it looks from the top and this is how it looks from the sides and uh, i think it looks okay yes there is uh, it feels like something is missing here it's 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 missing its finishing look so that's why i made this one and i added a pom pom as well on the top so this is how it is there is only one thing that i mistakenly made this one a little bit bigger than i wanted I wanted to make this one in this size but I mistakenly made it bigger as you guys can as guys can see it turned out a little bit bigger maybe I made some mistakes uh, by eyeballing maybe I thought it was the same it's gonna be the same length but it is not this beanie is its length is approximately 8 inches uh, sorry width is 8 inches and the length is approximately 7 little bit more than 7 inches and uh, this beanie is going i will tell later and this beanie which i made mistakenly bigger it is approximately 9 inches wide and approximately 7 and a half inches long and uh, i made these beanies to go with these mati uh, baby martini coats or b baby martini coats or baby cardigan or whatever you want to call it mm, this one will go with this one and this martini coat and this beanie is for approximately size 6 months to 12 months old babies and uh, this one I made uh, the size of this uh, martini coat and this martini coat is same but I mistakenly made this beanie a little bit bigger and I when i was approximately approximately here then i realized that it's turning out to be big wider than i wanted but i did not want it to frog it because i, I thought let it go i'm just making it for the sake of video i will make maybe one in smaller size which can go with this one if you guys are interesting to make these martini coats if you guys are interested then i will share the link below I have already made you a video about these quotes about these cardigans you guys can go there i will share the link in comment um, in comment box or in description box so you guys can go and follow the pattern the yarn i used is if i can find it the yarn i used uh, for this one is this yarn it's there is 103 meters of the yarn in 250 gram of the yarn and it's acrylic yarn and i used approximately maybe overall in both colors i think i used approximately 100 gram of the yarn more or less or maybe 80 gram or so so let's get started i will try my level best to um, explain each and everything with details and i used four millimeter my favorite four millimeter crochet hook and um, i will show you guys the both beanies how they look this is how this one looks because it has pom pom so it has more finishing and neat look into it and this one i did not attach any pom pom because as i told i ran ran out of yarn and plus i don't like making pom pom so it it has this you know you get that feeling of uh, 
that something is missing so maybe if i had added a pom pom here it could give it more finishing look but this is how it is so this is it i'll try my level best best to explain each and everything with detail if there is anything that is confusing or anything like that you guys can comment below and i will try my level best to help you guys um thank you in advance and let's get started the starting point of this beanie is going to be here on the ribbing here for that what we are going to do we will need basic chains and multiple of uh, these stitches or multiple uh, chains are going to be six you can make any numbers of the chains to start with which can be divided by six any numbers of the chains which can be divided by six we are going to start with that and for that what we will do is we will start with the slip knot and then I will start making chains one two three four five six seven eight nine ten I will make rest of the chains off camera I will keep on making chains of any I will make six chains and then six chains until when I will realize that I got the width of the beanie I will start making chains and then I will resume the video again for the size I wanted I have chained 66 and now I will slip stitch into the first chain carefully so that I don't twist the chains and then like that then make chain three one two three this does not count as our first double crochet I will make one double crochet into each and every chain one two four five and six repeat this pattern all the way to the end by making one double crochet into each and every chain slip stitch on the top of our first double crochet we are going to skip these Ch starting chain three then make one two three chains and again this starting chain three does not count as our first double crochet what we will do now is that we will convert this starting chain three and first double crochet into front post double crochet back post double crochet into the next front post double crochet into the next back post double crochet into the next repeat this pattern all the way to the end by making one front post double crochet into next and back post double crochet into next all the way to the end I am at the end of this round I will skip starting first chain uh, starting uh, uh, three chains and I will slip stitch on the top of our first double front post double crochet chain three again this chain three does not count as our first double crochet we will convert our starting chain three and front post double first front post double crochet into front post double crochet back post double crochet into the next front post into the next 
and back first into the next this is the pattern I am going to repeat by making front post double crochets into all front post double crochets back post double crochet into all back post double crochets and at the end I will slip stitch on the top of our first front post double crochet I will skip this starting chain 3 and I will repeat this round as many times until I get the desired length of the ribbing then I will stop working and then I will resume the video again because then we will be working on this part of the beanie I have total four rounds of double crochet on our ribbing including the first uh, plain double crochet round one two three and four and I think I got the length of the ribbing I wanted now what I will do is we will start working on our this part of the beanie for that what I will do is that I will change the color and I will join my contrasting color you can join it in any stitch I am gonna join here join the yarn make chain one and chain one and then make one single crochet into same stitch chain three one <coughs> two and three skip next two single uh, two stitches and one single crochet into the next one two three chain three skip next two stitches and one single crochet into the next one two three chains and skip next two stitches and one single crochet into the next we are going to repeat this pattern we are going to repeat this pattern by making chain three skipping two stitches and one single crochet into the next we are going to repeat this pattern all the way to the end I am at the end of this round and what I did was this simple that I made a single crochet I skipped two uh, stitches chain three and one single crochet into the next this is the pattern I repeated single crochet chain three skip next two stitches and single crochet into the next now what I will do is that I will slip stitch into our uh, uh, first single crochet what I will do now is I will make chain one and turn I will slip stitch into the first available chain three make one two three chains and this starting chain three counts as our first double crochet make two more double crochets into the same chain three space one and two front post double uh, make two double crochets I think I said single crochet but make chain three counts as our first double crochet and then two more double crochets into same chain space front post double crochet around the post of our single crochet three double crochets into next chain space one two and three front post double crochet into the next three double crochets into next chain three space one two three front post double crochet into the next this is the pattern we are going to repeat we will make three double crochets into chain three space front post double crochet around the post of our single crochet repeat this pattern all the way to the end one front post double crochet around the first single crochet from the last round and then slip stitch on the top of our starting chain three chain one turn and make one single crochet on the top of our uh, first front post double crochet 
from the last round this is our first front post double crochet from last round we will make single crochet on that then main make one two three chains skip these three double crochets and make a single crochet on the top of our next front post double crochet one two three chain three skip this these three double crochets and one single crochet on the crochet on the top of our next front post double crochet one two three skip uh, the plain double crochets and one single crochet on the top of our front post double crochet from the last round this is the pattern we are going to repeat that we will skip chain, we will make chain three skip all the double crochets and one single crochet on the top of all the front post double crochets all the way to the end slip stitch on the top of our first single crochet and then chain one and turn and make a slip stitch into first available chain three space chain three one two three two more double crochets into the same stitch one and two and now instead of making front post double crochet we are going to make front post treble crochet around the post of front post double crochet uh, two rows below in around this stitch we will make front post treble treble crochet three double crochets into next chain three space one two and three front post treble crochet around the post of uh, front post double crochet two rows below like that and then three double crochets into this chain three space one two and three this is the pattern we are going to repeat we will make front post treble crochet around the post of this front post double crochet three double crochets into that front post treble around the post of this stitch repeat this pattern all the way to the end front post treble crochet around the post of last front post double crochet and then slip stitch on the top of starting chain three chain one turn around make one single crochet on the top of our first front post treble crochet chain three one two three single crochet on the top of next treble crochet chain three one two three single crochet on the top of next treble crochet chain three one two three single crochet on the top of next treble crochet this is the pattern we are going to repeat we will make chain three skip all these uh, three double crochets and one single crochet on the top of our next front post uh, treble crochet repeat this pattern all the way to the end slip stitch on the top of our first single crochet chain one turn around slip stitch into our first available chain three chain three one two three two more double crochets into that front post treble crochet around the post of our treble crochet and i will make rest of the beanie off camera what you are going to do is simply that you are going to repeat last two rounds this round which we have just completed and the round below that this one we are going to repeat these two rounds as many times as uh, we have to until we reach here this is our first decreasing round and we have one two three uh, approximately we have um, we repeat the pattern until we get the length of the beanie minus approximately two inches 
then uh, we will uh, when there is only two inches left to the length of our beanie then we will stop working on these rounds i will make rest of the beanie off camera and then i will resume the video when i'm done i think i got the length of the beanie i wanted plus we are going to make a um, couple of uh, decreasing rounds so we will start working on our first decreasing round and for that what we will do is i have made i have repeated the pattern and now i will make chain one and turn around and make one single crochet into first available front post stitch chain two skip these uh, double crochets and make one single crochet into next front post treble crochet chain two skip next um, double crochets and single crochet into next front post stitch instead of making chain three as we did here in these rounds we are going to make chain two instead and I will repeat this pattern all the way to the end by making one, two chains, skipping a plain double crochets and making one single crochet on the top of treble crochet all the way to the end. Slip stitch on the top of our first single crochet, <coughs> chain one and turn around, slip stitch, <coughs> sorry, slip stitch into first available chain two space and make one two three chains and one double crochet into same chain space then i will make front post treble crochet into the first available treble crochet two double crochets into next chain two space one and two front post treble crochet around the treble crochet like that two double crochets into the next one and two front post treble crochet around the next treble crochet two double crochets into next chain two space and then one treble front post treble around the treble crochet this is the pattern we are going to repeat by making two double crochets into chain two space front post treble crochet around the post of this treble crochet all the way to the end one front post treble crochet around the last treble crochet slip stitch on the top of our first chain starting chain three and then make chain one and turn around one single crochet over the top of first front post stitch chain one and skip next two double crochet and make a single crochet on the top of our next available front post stitch chain one skip next two double crochet one single crochet on the top of treble crochet chain one skip next two double crochet and single crochet on the top of next treble crochet this is the pattern we are going to repeat instead of making chain two we are going to make chain one <clears throat> and skip these two plain double crochets and we will make a single crochet on the top of our next front post treble crochet repeat this pattern all the way to the end slip stitch on the top of our first single crochet chain one turn around slip stitch into first available chain one space 
and make chain 3 1 2 3 this starting chain 3 counts as our first double crochet front post treble crochet around the post of treble crochet like that one double crochet into next chain one space front post treble crochet around the post of front front post treble, treble crochet one double crochet into chain one space front post treble crochet around the post of treble crochet this is the pattern we are <coughs> we are going to repeat one double crochet into chain one space front post treble crochet around the post of treble crochet all the way to the end slip stitch on the top of our <coughs> starting chain three and then i will slip stitch into this um, or i will make chain three one two three but in this round this starting chain three does not count as our first double crochet i will make a front post double crochet into next front post treble crochet skip next double crochet front post double crochet around the post of next treble crochet skip next double crochet front post double crochet into next treble front post treble crochet repeat this pattern all the way to the end by skipping all the double plain double crochets and front post double crochet around the post of treble crochet all the way to the end skip this starting chain three and uh, slip stitch on the top of our first front post double crochet chain three one two and three and we are going to convert these two front post double crochets into one we will insert the crochet be, insert the crochet hook behind both uh, next two um, front post double crochets and we will make a front post double crochet around both of them again we will do the same on the top of or around the next two front post double crochet inserting the crochet hook from behind both of these grabbing the yarn and making a front post double crochet again around the next two stitches and next two We will repeat this pattern all the way to the all the way to the end by converting these two front post double crochets into one front post double crochet by making one front post double crochet around both double crochets. We are making decreasing in uh, each and every stitch by converting two stitches into one. We are at the end of this round what we will do now is we will skip this starting chain 3 and slip stitch on the top of our next or first front post double crochet our beanie is almost finished what we will do now is we will cut a little bit longer tail of the yarn because we are going to do, do some sewing here we are going to close this hole for that what i will do is i will insert this long tail insert this long tail inside the beanie and turn it inside out and thread the needle with the yarn and then we will simply make zigzag stitches to close this hole to close this gap on the top of each and every sing, uh, double crochet Once 
like that and pull it as tight as you can and then make some knots here to secure the end of the yarn just <coughs> some random knots just to secure the end and then we will weave in the end the tail of the yarn <coughs> and then I will cut the yarn and then what I will do is that I will go offline I will turn um, the camera off and then I will try to make a pom pom and attach it on the top of the beanie i'm going to do that offline first because so that i can save some time and then also because as i always say that i am not good at all at making pom-poms so that's why i don't make it on camera because i'm not good at it <laughs> So <clears throat> I will do rest of the process off camera. I will make the pom pom and uh, then I will do the finishing of the beanie which is that I will make a pom pom and then I will resume the video again. So once again I have tried to make a pom pom and attach it on the top of the beanie. It's far from perfect but it's okay. It's, uh, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay it's uh, not that bad i think <laughs> but this is how it looks when our beanie is complete it is done it is complete this is how it looks with a uh, pom pom i hope it was easy to follow the pattern it was easy uh, uh um, what you call it video to follow uh, thank you so much for watching and happy crocheting